lots of chat after the race, lots of remorse from Lewis after the race, lots of Valtteri saying how sick he felt after the race with the team order saying, what was your take on all that? I'm, I'm kind of split. Yes, there's no problem with team orders. Yes, they probably should have done it, and most other teams would have done it in that situation. Ferrari would have, for Ferrari, sure. Yeah, I mean, Ferrari, that's the way they run yeah, their team. Yeah. So, on at one sort of very superficial level, I've got no issue with it at all. I think the problem, and I think a lot of the problem that a lot of fans have had, is that how it was handled. And, you know, we had the wingman comment from Toto in uh, Hungary, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And it's, no, 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 our drivers are free to race. They're equal number yeah. ones. And, but we knew this weekend, certainly when Valtteri was having a strong weekend, got pole position, we knew that there'd be some degree of team orders. But I think how they planned it and then how it played out just seemed very clunky, like Ferrari had done you know, a number of times in the past. It was well, to give Ferrari really credit, they, they do often bring Kimi in ridiculously early in order just to but sort that's, of let you know, Sebastian... That's, one, that way. Bit, that's yeah. one way of tackling it. Yeah. But what we, we saw was you know, one of these kind of, oh, you know, panic, let's make the change. And it yeah, just, it just doesn't feel like racing. Yeah. And um, that's the, the issue that it's a bit disingenuous with everything else that's being said. What they did was absolutely right. I think they just needed to handle it better. Yeah. There's one other facet to this which is last week uh, Formula One announced a deal with, uh, I forget who the partner is, but they're allowing in-race betting for the first time. There's been no you know, formal uh, official betting system in Formula One. But in the next race, the lead was manipulated directly by a team. <laughs> how, is, how is, I mean, I think team orders should stay. I've, got no, I've yeah. never had an issue with them. Yeah. And it was wrong when they took them away. But it just well, starts but, but to mess up. This was the problem, of course, in 98 when David Coulthard let Mika Hakkinen yes. back into the lead to win the Australian Grand Prix. And because that was in Australia, where they're betting crazy, mate, yeah, mm -hmm. nothing but betting, um, it went, the whole thing went ridiculously ballistic. And, and this is an interesting point you make, because should we be beholden to this new economy of betting? Hundred, I think they've quoted $100 million or something. They're going to make we know there's lots of money in the industry. You know, and, and if that's the case, obviously this whole business of team orders needs to be revisited. Mm -hmm. But... Equally, if you're a betting man and you're very enthusiastic about the new regulations in Formula One and the in-race betting, surely you would be doing your homework and you'd start looking at the history of team orders and what that could do to your bet. And you'd go back to Peter Collins, who had a chance of winning the championship, coming in and giving his Ferrari teammate his car so that Fangio could win the championship. And when asked later, he said, oh, well, he was the right man to win the title. So you have to take that into account. Mm -hmm. You can't just disregard all that because mm -hmm. that is the history of Formula One. Yep. And the bottom line is Valtteri knew incredibly nobly that he had to do that. And he wouldn't have any misgivings about that. He would go home and he would think... I'm very lucky to be driving for Mercedes. I'll have my day. Toto really supports me. This will earn me a lot of credit with him at some point and with Lewis in the mm -hmm. future. And so I will go to bed on that point. And, but how that sits with all these betting guys out there, I have absolutely no idea. Because to me, it's playing with fire. If you, if you want mm. to introduce betting to a sport in which team orders can apply and the bets only apply to results, there is going to be mayhem for sure. Yeah. 